Uh, we've, uh, we've, 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 <laughs> kind of blagged, I was going to say blagged our way, I will say blagged our way, blagged our way into one of the galleries actually, Gallery 4, uh, because you're not really allowed in this space, and there's me and there's Dave who's with us today, and uh, we've got Dale set up there, and Karim uh, Scali, who's one of the artists with a picture in this, in this gallery somewhere, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, firstly, how are you keeping? Are you well? I'm well, happy Valentine's Day. Well, to you as well, love. <laughs> if I'd only had known, I would have got you something. Uh, this is uh, not the first time you've entered the, the Ferrens Open. When was the first time you did it? Oh, God. Um... A long time ago, maybe yeah. five, six years ago. Oh, as long ago as that? College, uh, yeah. Because you, you, you were telling me you're, you're 25, you don't look 25, you look <laughs> about 18. You're 25, you've done an MA, uh, as, so you did a degree, did an MA as well down in Norwich, and you're now back in, effectively, your home area? Yeah, it's back in Hull, uh, working in Hull as a photographer. Oh, right, okay. Good to be back, yeah. Oh, well, uh, that, uh, yeah, very, very good. We'll, have a, we'll go around and have a look at your, your piece in a minute. Have you, have you seen it on the wall already? I have, yesterday. It's nice yeah. to see it. And you, apparently, have, you, you, this kind of runs in the family a bit. That You've got twin brothers, younger brothers, who are in, in here somewhere as well. Yeah, both my little brothers, Omar and Tarek, are individually in the show. Yeah. So it's three, three scallies in the show what tonight. What about that? No, it's great. It's really and what good. do they do? What, what's, what's their kind they, of... They study film in Sheffield. Right. In different years, funnily yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they've got two pieces of photography in today. Fantastic. Three pieces of photography by the Scullies. So when is it, I mean, well, what's inspired all of you? I can imagine how your younger brothers looked up to you and thought, oh, that's great, we'll <laughs> have a go. But have you, have you got photography or filmmaking in the family somewhere? Uh, not really. My older sister did fashion at university. My brother did furniture design. And we used to go to Morocco, because we're half Moroccan, we used to go to Morocco all the time, so I think we've got a lot of the culture and yeah, tradition yeah. from there. So I used to go to Morocco and take loads of pictures yeah. and obviously get inspired by that. So. Which, which half is Moroccan? My dad's side. Right, okay. Yeah. And so he, he's obviously, is, is, he, is he here? You, yeah, 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 you're yeah, still, yeah. Still, still working hard? It's, he's not still an artist? Hard. Mum's not an artist? No, nowhere near an artist. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> I don't know, I'm always interested what, what starts yeah. it. I mean, it can, can be sometimes as straightforward as somebody enjoys making marks on paper uh, with, a, with a pencil or just enjoys the thing about uh, taking the image. My mum's very arty, to be fair. Yeah. So I think we've probably got it from there as well. She's always encouraged us to uh, do the things we enjoy. So. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So where did you go to school? I went to Endeavour High School. Yeah, and is... then you went off to Norwich? Then I did, uh, went to White College and then did a foundation at Park Street and oh, then, yeah. then on to Norwich. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what was Norwich like? I mean, I don't think I've ever been to Norwich. It's so far out of the way. It's a fine city, is it? as they yeah. say. Yeah, it's a really good city. Yeah, but, but back here, in, back in the, the loving bosom of your family. Oh, yeah. When did you come back? Uh, 2017. Oh, okay, right. Oh, you had a couple of years. Take me round to where you are, because I, I've got the catalogue here, and it tells me uh, Karim Scali, uh, The Docks is the title of the thing, a digital print uh, for sale as well at a, a modest price of £125. And here we are, we've won a very good price. <coughs> Excuse me, we've wandered, wandered around the picture to... I don't know what, what you're hanging next to there, but this is, this is yours here, 110. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a, a, a digital print. And uh, taken where? This is The Docks. Um, just at the back of the ice arena. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, yeah. yeah, I was just out taking pictures, really. Yeah. Just I wanted to go into that area because it's a really interesting place, isn't it? Yeah. Got a lot of historical value to hold. And uh, I wanted to capture it a bit differently. So this, as you can see, if you come later, you'll see it's maybe not an obvious picture of the docks. It's a bit... Well, it's, it's not obvious because it looks like you've got sand dunes in the yeah, background yeah. there and you've got concrete slabs in front of the, the sand dunes, then some kind of, I'm going to call it, I don't know what you call it, but sort of the Arco metal type... Uh, uh, protective barrier in front of that, and then, then the edge of the dock, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's it. What yeah. Cool, what, so when did you, did you just, did you first see that as you were wandering around just, and thought, that's the one for me? I was just wandering about and it caught my eye. I think that's, as a photographer, that's like, Yeah. Well, that's the want, thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, was the, it was the sound dunes, because I don't think I've seen that before, really. Yeah. Being that triangular as well. Yeah, it's almost like mini pyramids. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's almost like it's Egypt has appeared. It's not, it's not quite whole, is it? It's more Egypt. <laughs> and, and technically, what's the process then? Obviously, you take the photo, yeah. but can you, can you print out at home, or do you go somewhere well, to get your stuff printed? I shoot film, so this is 35mm film. Okay. So I get it developed locally, and then I scan it in at home. God. And then... I go get it printed yeah. locally as well. So what, why, why 35 mil film as opposed to just go running out there with a, a digital camera and doing it that way? Um, there's something obviously yeah, artistically yeah. that does it for you. The, obviously the look is something, but the process as well, it makes you think about your shots. Yeah. You're not just snapping away. Yeah. There's so many digital pictures out nowadays. And yeah. It makes a difference, I think. Sure. Um, I just like the process, really. It just slows everything down and makes you look at your surroundings. Yeah. 
Well, that's great. When you come tonight, folks, Gallery 4, it's picture 110, and that's the one we've been talking about now. It's right above 111, uh, which is uh, a sort of moonscape. I mean, I haven't got... Actually, I, I could, probably could tell you. Michael Hurst, home, it says, acrylics, but it's not for sale, that one. You have not really had that much of a chance to wander around, I suppose, and have a look in here. But just as we're standing, is there anything that's catching your eye? I like the Ricketts bag. The, 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 the Ricketts bag, I think, is, a, uh, is either a series, because there's a two or three of those dotted about, or there's been a group that's had a project, and that's what they come up with. But the Ricketts bag, blue and white stripe, with the great big Ricketts label on the front. Is nice. I really like Omar and Tarek Scali's photographs. Do you? Yes, surprisingly. Um, <laughs> I, think they're, I think they're great. I haven't seen those yet, but I'll search those out. Uh, from where we're standing as well, oh, there is a... Uh, just come over here and have a look at this, because this is a, it might have an appeal to you, it might not, but I spotted this earlier, and I think the lady is Jane Baharrell, I think is her name. And it's a, it's a painting, uh, uh, and it's a, you know, so well observed and technically brilliant piece of painting of a, uh, of a dog. Um, and I don't know what sort of dog it is, but it's just incredible. It's like a photograph. It is, that's what I say, I, I thought it would appeal to you. It looks like almost photographic. Mm. Yeah, really, really lovely. She wants a couple of grand for that, by the way, I think. See, so. mine's, mine's a bit cheaper than that. <laughs> There's a salesman in there somewhere. So, uh, you're, here you are, you're back in the area, you're working as a photographer, uh, you, you're entering things into exhibitions like the Open Exhibition, but what about if we were to chat in five years' time or thereabouts? Yeah. Uh, Karim, what, do you, what would you like to be doing? That's a big question. Um, su a su successful photographer? Yeah. I think that's... Yeah, but more um, art-based. You're yeah, not more really interested in commercial photography uh, or wedding pho photography. Not particularly, but I mean, they're avenues to make money, so yeah. it depends. But I'd like, yeah, I'd like to work more editorial, art-based yeah. commissions. And when when will your brothers be finishing their degrees? One finishes this year, the other the year after. Is there a family business in there somewhere? Yes. A filmmaking, photography, it's family a, business? You know, we'll see what happens. We'll have some talks. We'll see what happens. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Uh, so you're back here tonight for the preview. Yeah, back at six tonight. All the family? All the family. All, the family. <laughs> All of us. Wonderful. Nice to see you. Thank you so Thank much you for, for shooting the breeze. Great to see you, Kareem.